Good evening, I'm Scott Schaefer. And I'm Sophia Ojeda. We begin tonight with a bombshell from State College. ESPN the magazine has published a report about Mike McQueary, the former assistant Penn State football coach. McQueary was the whistleblower in the Penn State sex abuse scandal. The article released today reveals McQueary not only had a gambling problem, but was also sexually abused himself as a child. Newswatch 16 Sarah Binoski is live from Penn State Worthington Scranton in Lackawanna County. Sarah. Well, Scott Sophia, the article was released today, the same day that Jay Paterno was in our area. He's running for lieutenant governor. He's also the son of the legendary late football coach Joe Paterno. We also spoke with Paul McGloin, whose son Matt McGloin was a quarterback at Penn State. He's known as the whistleblower, a key prosecution witness in the trial of former Penn State officials charged in connection with a sex abuse scandal surrounding former assistant football coach Jerry Sandusky. Mike McQueary is at the center of an article published in ESPN, the magazine. The title is The Whistleblower's Last Stand. In that article, Don Van Natta Jr. reports McQueary revealed to his players he too was abused as a child. One reason he felt so helpless when he walked in on Jerry Sandusky abusing a boy in a Penn State shower in 2001. McQueary did not name his abuser. The article also revealed McQueary's gambling problem, even betting on his own team while he played for Penn State. Van Natta was interviewed on ESPN about the article and what he learned about Mike McQueary, who grew up in State College. His life uh, is really on hold. He's been in limbo now for three years. He's living in State College. He's unemployed. He's broke. Uh, he's living at his parents' house in his boyhood bedroom. The day the article was released, Jay Paterno, son of the late legendary football coach Joe Paterno, was in Lackawanna County. Jay Paterno is a Democratic candidate for state lieutenant governor. He met with local officials and talked about improving education. We asked him about the article and the report that McQuarrie was the victim of abuse. Paterno told us he hasn't read the article yet. One thing I've learned in the last 26, 27 months is I take everything I read uh, in the media with a grain of salt and... You know, so I don't, I don't, really, I don't want to respond to it. Traveling with Jay Paterno was Paul McGloin of Scranton. McGloin's son Matt was a quarterback at Penn State and close with Mike McQuery. All I just thought Mike was, you know, a nice guy. He was good to my son at Penn State. And very honest, very honest with the players, you know. And I, I've heard that several times from my son how honest Mike was. Now, Mike McQuarrie is considered to be the prosecution's key witness in the upcoming conspiracy trial of three former Penn State officials accused in a cover-up of the Jerry Sandusky case. Mike McQuarrie has also filed a $4 million lawsuit, a whistleblowing lawsuit against Penn State. He refused to be interviewed for the article except to say that he loved and respected Joe Paterno. Sarah Bonowski, Newswatch 16, reporting live tonight in Lackawanna County. Sarah, thank you.